All right, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Milky King, we're glad you're here today. Today, a uh, different video for you, kind of a daily vlog. I'm actually doing some errands, but they're all related to golf. So here, uh, first, I'm actually at Dick's, and I'm going to go get my clubs regripped. I don't know if they're gonna let me film in there, so I thought I would do the intro out here. I'm gonna get all my clubs regripped, the same grips, uh, same feel. I've heard some of those recommendations. I'm gonna try them out, let you know how that goes, and then I'm actually headed down south uh, to pick up my golf cart, had it serviced, had some work done to it, so I'll also talk about that. So I guess this could be really like the tea to green and everything in between um, type video where I just give you updates, talk about things, and get your thoughts and feedback through comments and whatnot. So uh, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, goes a long way to help the channel, and uh, we just appreciate you're here. So let's go inside, let's check out what's going on, and uh, let's get these clubs regripped. All right, everyone. So back outside, and Dix would not let me film inside. They did ask. But unfortunately, they said no. Um, probably they're pretty strict about filming in their stores now. Just with, they said, like the explosion of social media and just everybody that's out there trying to make content, um, good and bad. So I respect that. But I worked with the, uh, the employee. We talked through a number of different grip options. And so I went with one that I did not think I was going to go with. But I'm going to get home. I'm going to take them out. They're still drying, so it's going to take some time. I won't be able to play them until tomorrow. But what I want to do is, you know, talk you through why I chose what I chose, which ones I did choose, and then obviously I'm going to play, I'm going to use them, and I'll have to see if I like them. And then I'll also talk about cost, because obviously I had to pay per grip. I regripped all my clubs, except for my putter, and uh, there's a fee per, per grip. So uh, it was a little bit more than I was expecting to spend, but uh, I think it'll be worth it in the long run. And again, you know, Regripping and improving the clubs I already am used to already really like versus buying new clubs is still a lot less money So excited to see about that. So uh, let's get home I'm gonna get unloaded. I got the golf cart from the uh, Golf cart dealership got the work done that looks great working great. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great day of golf tomorrow So let's get home. Let's get unpacked. I'll show you the grips and then we'll go from there. All right. Stay tuned All right so, if you saw the first two sections of this video, you know that I went to Dick's Sporting Goods to get my clubs regripped. Now, unfortunately, Dick's wouldn't let me film, but I, uh, I'll put some clips in of the gripping process. I think the next time that I go to have my clubs regripped, I'm actually going to do it myself. Uh, it doesn't look that difficult talking with the technician. He just suggested a few you know, pieces of equipment and some things to do to make it easier on yourself. And so I think that's gonna be my next project once I'm ready to regrip. But what I wanted to do today is I wanted to actually reveal to all of you what grips I went with, why I went with them, and then after playing with them and actually I'm out on the range today, doing some work with them, and I have to tell you, uh, they're working really pretty well so far. Now I do think whenever you do something when it comes to golf equipment, at least in my opinion, I feel like there's always almost like a honeymoon period where you're excited, you're dialed in because you're so excited. And so I do think I wanna kinda of get past this potential honeymoon period. But what I did, well, let me show you here, is I actually ended up going with the jumbo grips. Now, what I had before was the standard grips that came with my clubs, and they were medium, um, and they were fine. They worked well. I had been able to improve and, and get better using those, but I had done a lot of research on different types of grips, different size grips. And obviously you have like the Bryson DeChambeau, you know, super jumbos. Um, you have all kinds of different options. And so I went with the Golf Pride Jumbo, is this the CP2 wrap. Now I went with those on every club from my wedges all the way up to my driver. And so far, what I have to say is I feel um, that they feel amazing. I honestly can't tell you enough how good they feel in my hands. The grip, the way that my, um, you know, I, can, I can really kind of get my grip onto the club and they feel stable. I feel like I'm able to square the club face. And so, as you guys know, this is Bogey King Golf. So I'm not a professional golfer. Um, right now my handicap is hovering around 17. And so I played on Friday a full 18 holes with the clubs. And this was the day after I had them grips. They told me that, you know, after they were done, it takes about four to five hours for the solvent to dry and everything to be good. So I didn't actually play on them that night and I played on them the next day, full 18, and I ended up shooting an 88. Uh, felt like that was a pretty good score. Um, I probably would have had a stroke or two less, but it started to rain on the last hole, and instead of 
you know, waiting the rain out, I decided to hit and I did have some uh, slippage because my hands were wet and it was pretty gnarly out there. So, uh, but 88 and I went out uh, last night for a bit over the weekend and played a couple of holes and parred two and bogeyed one. And so I really feel like right now they're working for me. Now, again, I feel like I'm in the honeymoon period. So I came out here to the range today, I've been hitting pretty solid. I'll throw some of those shots up here on the video. But again, um, I got the Golf Pride, I'm getting bit by a bug here. I got Golf Pride, what did I say here? CP2 Wrap Jumbo, and I got them in the blue and black, a more smooth grip. I'll do some close-up shots here as well. But so far, they're working good. Uh, these were $9.99 per grip at Dick's, and then it was $3.99 per club to have them installed. So total price was about $181. I live in Delaware, so there's no sales tax, so there's no tax to worry about. Um, but, you know, for the fact that I've been playing with these clubs now for a couple of years, this is my first re-grip. I don't have a super aggressive grip. I don't go through a ton of gloves, and so I didn't really need to do anything. But I have to say, at this point, I am very much excited about this change, very much excited about the future of my golf game. And now that I've done the regripping, I'm going to potentially do it myself. Uh, you know, we might try some different options moving forward, and uh, or we could just stick with what I have. So, you know, if you're out there thinking about regripping your clubs, let me know. If you've done it yourself, let me know. It'd be great. Drop a comment below. And yeah, we're gonna play a number of rounds. We're going to use these grips and I'll do a long-term review and let you guys know over the time if it was just, you know, that honeymoon period or if it actually, in fact, was a really good change for me and my game. And I think that's something that, you know, you have to obviously make your mind up and decide for yourself, but it'll be interesting to see what this does long-term. So again, if this is helpful, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way to help our channel. And if you didn't know, we are partnered with some really cool companies, Blue Tees Golf, Craftsman Golf, and Sunday Golf. So if you go to bogeykingsports.com slash partners, and you can see all of our partners, all of our deals. Right now, if you use the code bogeyking at Blue Tees, you get 10% off your entire order. If you go to Craftsman Golf and use bogey 10, you get 10% off your order. And with Sunday Golf, um, there's a link to receive 10% off your first order on our website. So. Go out there, check it out, and we're just glad you're here. We hope that between now and the next video, you get out and play some golf, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, everyone. Later.